repairing the extruder is what you did in the previous video. The last thing that needs wires and cables is the heat bed. Later on, in section 5.6, you will mount this to the printer. In this video, you will attach the wires, the silicon glue, and the Kapton tape. If you do these steps now, everything will be dry by the time you need it. First, take your heat bed. The one we're using here is the Mark IIb by Josef Prusa. The heating element should be at the top. Solder the power cable onto the bottom of the heat bed, which is the side with the little LED. You'll need a cable of about 75 centimeters long. An important note, just as with the 12 volt cables of the power supply, you should use thick wire. There is a lot of current running through this cable, and too thin wires can get too hot or even catch fire. I use speaker cables with a copper area of 1.65 millimeters squared. Strip the black cable for about 5 cm, so you can connect slots 2 and 3. Apply an abundant amount of solder for good connection. Put black ferrules onto the copper ends. Slide a piece of insulation onto both of the leads of the thermistor. Put the head of the thermistor into the little hole in the center of the heat bed. Make sure that it doesn't poke out onto the other side. Also make sure that you insert it in a way that it's pointing towards the power cables. Apply some silicon glue onto it to fix it. I use special heat resistant silicon here, although common silicon probably will do the trick just as well. With some water and soap on your finger, you can make the silicon blob nice and smooth. Carefully solder the thermistor cable onto the thermistor. The cable should be 68 centimeters long. Check again to make sure that the thermistor doesn't poke through onto the other side and let it rest for a few hours. The last step is to apply Kapton tape onto the mirror. We prefer to use this tape, although there are quite a few alternatives. Take the mirror and put some slightly soapy water onto the surface. Lay the first strip onto the wet surface and cut it to length. Slide it into place and push out the water and air bubbles from underneath the Kapton with a credit card. Perfectly align the second strip of Kapton and make it smooth. Leave it to dry for a couple of hours. Once it is dry you can clean up the edges with a knife or scissors. Congratulations, you are done with most of the wiring. In the next section, you will build the extruder, mount the heat bed, and you will make all the necessary calibrations. After that, you can print. So get yourself ready for the next round of building fun.